Hey Virgo, this is your weekly video for October 24th, 2021. Take what resonates, leave the rest. I do TikTok videos every day. If you want to follow me on TikTok, all my information is down below. Everything you need to know about me is in the description box. So... The collective crystal for this week is rose quartz wrapped in copper. Copper is an enhancer. It conducts extra energy. I feel like this week everybody is going through a lot of healing, a lot of beat up shit. Like a lot of us are going through our own battles every day. And I feel like here lately it's been even thicker than normal. And we need to have a little self grace. We, ha we need to have a little self-love. But we also have to have universal love for other people. And understanding that they have their own path that may not always align with ours. So this is where we let them go with love. And let them be. Without harming, you know, without harming intentions. Or without sending them bad vibes. Sometimes that can be hard, especially when they hurt you. But Virgo, you're a healer. You don't want to hurt anyone. Even the people that hurt you, you really don't want to hurt them. You know, um, you do get a sense of sadness for them, though, for not recognizing that they had such a great healer in their life. But it is what it is. Let's pull some cards for the week. See what spirit has for ourselves. And just so you know, if you're new to the channel, I'm a Virgo as well. So I'm not just speaking out the side of my mouth. I actually know what we're going through. Everybody's going through something different, but kind of feeling the same things. You know, a lot of nostalgia going on. But a lot of self-awakening as well. Alright, Spirit. What lovely messages do you have for my Virgo babies for the week of October 24th, So we have the Four of Pentacles. I feel like, oh Lord, yeah. Oh my goodness, Virgo, we are stepping into our shit, man. Um, but not without struggle. <laughs> so so far we have the poor. The okay, so we're okay. So we're just going to go ahead and take these that just popped out to you. All right. So let's go ahead and read into these a little bit before I read into these. I'm going to pull one more. Yeah. Okay. So the four pinnacles, I feel like we could be holding on to our own hearts a lot. We're holding on to our, our own energy. I feel like we're basking in our own energy. This is the Queen of Cups energy. It's a lot of nourishment. It's a lot of love. It's a lot of emotions. And I think that we are just really focused on our will of fortune. Which is our business. Our home life. Our stability. Everything that we want. We are feeling confident in this, okay, with the Empress energy. We are feeling confident in this because this is what we want. This is what we're working for. This is, this is everything, okay? This is everything for us. I feel like a lot of us have been, you know, you may or may not be in a relationship, but for some of us, 
you know, we are facing this alone and very ind individual. Um, whatever you're holding your emotions about, whatever you're holding your feelings about, you know, you're putting it into yourself. And I do feel like that you are totally doing a self-evaluation of I'm surrendering to what I need to. But the Nine of Swords here, I feel like that even though we have all these energies, we know this is the right thing to do, okay? We know that, that surrendering and giving into ourselves and giving ourselves self-care to be the powerful Virgos that we are, our heart is still hurting because we have had a struggle in order to get there. We have had to let some things go in order to get these feelings of self-love. It's like on the outside, the outside shell is confident and saying, I know what I need to do. I know everything to do for myself and it's going to be in a positive way. And yes, my heart is really there. I am not faking this. I am doing it. I'm doing the fucking thing. But there is still a sense of loss in your heart. And it's probably because you've had to shed some things. You've had to let go of some things. You've had to shed some things. So, yeah, it's that, well, damn, you know, like, why did I have to let go of that in order to have this? Why can't I have it all? Once you shed your feelings about it and you surrender it even more and you become comfortable in the space that you're in. I feel like a lot of us have had to let go, shed, transform. And that's the painful part. But we have the Six of Wands, which is a celebration, which is a, a, a sense of completion, a sense of you did good. You know, like, you get to celebrate this. And you get to kind of show off a little bit of what you learned. With the Six of Swords in reverse, it shows that you're getting a better direction. It shows that you are clearing things out for yourself where I'm going to be less defensive and I'm, I'm, I'm shedding these emotions. I'm going to be successful shedding all this. And I'm going to get a better direction for what I need for myself and for my own growth. And then your son comes out. Your son is everything that you want. Your son is the light being shined on everything. And then here comes the lover's card. Not sure how to feel about that. <laughs> but here's the thing. This lover's card could also be a self-love. Like a whole new self-love. For yourself on, on the direction and the journey that you're going on. It doesn't necessarily have to be a person or an outside person. It very well could be your inner self. But it could also mean that once you get through the cycle and you become at home with what you're doing. Because Virgos, we have this habit of, okay, I know what I'm supposed to do. So I'm going to do it. But then our feelings about it don't come until later. It takes practice. Like when it comes to meditation. Meditation did not relax me for probably at least three to four months into doing it. But would I meditate? Yes, I sure in the fuck did. In the very beginning, it actually gave me anxiety. <laughs> because I had to let go and I had to surrender. But once I got used to doing that the relaxation feelings came. And so right now we are in a sense of self that we're not used to being in. And so we are choosing ourselves over bullshit. Not only do people not understand or know how to deal with that, we also don't know how to deal with that. Yeah, I'm going to take all those because all those wanted to come out. So after the lover's card, 
you know, so after you go through your cycle of I'm going to fake it till I make it. Like I said, it's not really a sense of faking it because you know what you're going for. You know what your intentions are and you actually do reach it, you know, where you shed and then your sun comes out and then here comes the lover's card. So it takes a cycle of you going through all this in order to get the sun and lover's card. But then here's the page of cups. The five of swords in reverse and we have the fool. So the page of cups could be about an offer. It could be um, whatever offer walks into your, your mind or into your heart, into your life. And with the five of swords in reverse, anytime a sword's a uh, card comes out in reverse. I picture gravity just letting the swords fall. So I feel like there's a person that is helping you take your defenses down when it comes to love or when it comes to taking a chance on your heart. And they help you get to a space where you are taking a chance. I feel like... um this person could be a new person. I mean, it, it it absolutely could be a new person. I'm not really seeing anywhere that it could be a past person. You might already be talking to this person and not realizing that they're possibly your next relationship. But you're wanting to take a chance again and you're and you're wanting to just trust the process. So this person helps you get to this place. There's nothing wrong with that. And keep in mind, this person very well could be you and your own progress. Doesn't necessarily have to be an outside person. But usually the lover's card, you know. Yeah, see the three of pentacles in reverse. You know, once you take a chance, you're still being cautious. I don't see you like, I see you wanting to take a chance with somebody, but you're still vetting them. You know, like, okay, I'm going to take a chance with you, but I'm still going to be cautious about where I'm stepping. Like, you're being a little bit more open minded. But not to the point where you're willing to put everything that you learned on the line. I feel like that you feel as if, yeah, this is going to be quick. Whoa. Okay. So I do. F <laughs> and look over the fool. The fool is over the lover's card. And then we have the two of cups. So I do feel like that you're going to take a chance on something. And something is going to come into you, in, in like, it's not into you. Oh, my God. Ugh. Something is going to show up quickly. <laughs> uh, sorry. But it's you could also... Hmm. I was going to say, it could possibly be two different people... Or it could be you picking yourself over another person. Or it could just be the same person. However that resonates for you. But basically what I'm saying is you wanting to take a chance on something. And then you still being a little bit cautious. And then like way forward movement sweeps in. And then you have the two of cups. I'm kind of scared to talk about how this is really uh, how I'm thinking about this in my head. Okay, so for some of you, for some of you, there could be a person that you meet, could be a new person, could be somebody that you're talking to that you're not in a relationship with. You take a chance on that. You're still kind of cautious, but then here comes another energy. Um, 
that would make two different energies. Hmm. After that, you go into Hermit Mode. Seven of Wands in Reverse. Queen of Swords, which is you cutting the truth. And then High Priestess of you getting your intuition. Okay, so you might have a choice to make, Virgo. You might have a choice to make. Now, keep in mind, this, for some of you, yeah, it's going to be two choices between two different people. Okay? But for some of you, it's going to be a choice between you picking yourself or picking another person. Or you dealing with another person. The reason why I say it like that is because, Virgo, we have this tendency of losing ourselves when we are in a relationship, like most people. Most people do. But I do feel like um, you might have two energies moving towards you. And I've actually seen this in the readings for a while, man, when it comes to Virgo. And I know for me personally, it's been about me picking self. But there's other Virgos that I know that have had to, you know, had to make a decision about, like, even moving, picking locations. You know, like, there's so much going on in everybody's different life. Like, everybody has something different going on. This could be about a friendship. This could be about family, you know, picking family versus picking your spouse, you know, like however this pertains to you, but there's some kind of choice that needs to be made when it comes to your personal space. And with the queen of swords right here, queen of swords is very calculating, very calculating, very to the point, cuts through the bullshit. And then the High Priestess is all about intuition. So, it's like, you know, I do feel like um, you're going to be making some kind of choice. And you're going to be making some kind of new beginning. So, you're going to find some kind of balance, Virgo. Some kind of balance. And here you are right here, hermit. <laughs> you're going to pull within yourself and you'll, you'll figure it out. So that's what I have for you this week, Virgo. I'm sending you all kinds of love, light, healing, and protection. If you like your video, please be sure to like it, subscribe to my channel, and I would appreciate it. Thank you so much for wa watching, and I will talk to you soon.